Hey gang, so I've been painting my Grey Knights here, and I've been using Black Templar Contrast to fill in the uh, panel line details, you know, in the armor plating here, and then at the joints, just because it, I think it looks nicer, a little bit more natural than filling it in with grays. That and uh, Black Templar is like a very, very, very dark blue, so it goes nicely with the bluing on the armor, but filling in these teeny tiny details if you don't have a steady hand can be a bit of a pain but it got me thinking about watercolors and a lesson i had in watercolors when i was in elementary school uh, i don't remember which art teacher it was but i really liked mr schwacko so i'm gonna say it was mr schwacko and uh, mr schwacko on the <laughs> wildly improbable chance you're seeing this hello and thank you from a student circa 1990 who still remembers you teaching them how to draw tree branches. So anyway, what got me thinking is that when you're painting watercolors, you often use water first to guide where you want the paint to go. And it got me thinking, can I do that with acrylics? And it turns out, yes, you can, particularly with today's uh, more free-flowing lighter acrylics. So I've got uh, some practice bases here. Uh, I based with Yolthuan Gray. I have Black, Tempra, Black Templar Contrast, uh, Drakenhof Nightshade, uh, Nuln Oil, uh, Skeleton Horde Contrast, and this is Thalo Cyanine Blue uh, Liquitex Acrylic Ink. So, gonna give those a shot, see how they work, and see, maybe we can create some cool effects by using water. This is just straight up water. Uh, you wanna make sure that you've got water to use as a guide and a different pot of water to wash your brush in. You don't want both to be the same, otherwise it's gonna muddy up. So let's see what we can do. Okay, quick break to shake my paints here. I'm gonna use uh, the Black Templar just straight out and paint a line with it, just as an example. That turned out fairly sharp, not too bad, but this brush is a little splayed, so I'm actually going to switch to a different one here. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit on this quadrant here, just to see how it looks when we just put it straight on. For comparison. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit of water here and I'm going to trace this line so it can guide the paint. And just a little daub lets it flow a little bit. So I can already tell it's flowing easier. And then I can just kind of tap my way down. And there we go. It's a nice fine line, can be improved a little bit. And if you have shaky hands, that may be a ticket for you. Okay, and then Let's try it again, just over here, add a little bit of water to the area I want to paint. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we get this nice diffusion, which can be cool depending on uh, some effects you want to create. And I notice right away that this has kind of a wash effect. So you can see it's flowed into the contours of the base. Now these are just your standard uh, Citadel 32 millimeter bases. All I did is uh, file an X into them and paint them Yolth 1 gray. But just putting the black Templar, Templar on top gives you kind of an even coat. But this flows into the recesses a little bit more and it gives you some more gives you some more uh, darker effects. 
Excuse me, my cat is calling. Sorry about that. I had my door closed while I was filming and my cat was having none of that. So anyway, as you can see, the results are, well, after this is dried, a little bit different. And again, yes, I can hear you saying, Nate, this is just a wash. Yes, it is, but you're using water to guide the wash. So different strategy. Let's see how it works with a shade. This is a contrast. Let's see how it works with a shade. So this is Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm gonna start doing the same thing, just load a little bit here and draw that line. Go over a little area here. Okay, results as expected. Load up the water here. Okay, you might have to do a little bit more cleanup with this, but that's okay. You'd probably be doing cleanup anyways, or at least I would be. So let's try doing a shape rather than just a blob. Let's say we had kind of a square shape we wanted here. Let's see how that works with the Drakenhof. Okay, not bad. Looks like the capillary action. Capillary, is that what this is? Capillary? Okay. Looks like that helped things flow the way we want. Cool. And then from here, if we want to drag things out a little bit, what we can do is just take a, a clean brush, maybe with a teeny bit of water if we wanted, and then just draw it out. So first look, as to be expected, the shade flows a little bit better. Not entirely unexpected. Let's see how we do with uh, good old Nuln Oil. And same thing, load up a little bit here, do a just off the brush straight line. And Okay, again, results typical. Nice. Nice. If we're careful, you know, it looks at a glance like the water guiding gives us a much smoother line. So, very nice. And let's see if we can do a bit of a gradient here. So we'll draw the water out like that. We'll start up here. And remember, you always want to be careful, or at least conscious, of where your brush pulls off the piece, because that's where it's going to leave the most pigment. So, not a bad gradient. Not a bad gradient. Gradients are something I have always struggled with. So, anything to help me with them is welcome. Because I am not an expert. <laughs> I am not a uh, golden demon quality painter. Maybe someday, hopefully someday, but not today. So this is Skeleton Horde, same deal. 
This is also a contrast instead of a shade. So we're just gonna do our freehand straight line there. Then load up a bit more. Do a draw down. And same thing. Water guide down that line there. Make sure to dry the brush before you grab the paint, otherwise it's going to thin it. You may not want that. Look at that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, a little bit of water. Okay, not as much of a gradient there, but I think that's that's me as much as anything else. But still, again, you can see that the draw on this side looks different than this side. And there's my cat again, so please excuse me. Okay, back a third time. Let's take a look at the Thalo Cyanine Blue ink. See how this reacts. So I'm just gonna daub a little bit off there. I don't trust myself, so I'm gonna screw the cap back on. Okay, not bad. Not bad. To be expected with an ink. Let's get a little bit more and be careful not to spill it. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm really liking working with inks. I haven't done much with them for a long time and I've never done the sort of stuff I'm doing now. So, just say I'm impressed with the results. All right. Load our brush up with some water here. Get our line draw there. Interesting. This didn't flow quite so well. Maybe the water dried up a little too fast. Let me try that again on a different line here. Okay, got a nice good old line of water there. Nice good bit of ink. Interesting. Yeah, even with more water, it doesn't flow as well. Curious. The line's still pretty good, but I would say not as good as with uh, the shades or the contrasts. But <clears throat> okay. Once again, add some water. Do a little spot there. Hmm. The ink is fairly consistent. You can kind of draw it back up a little bit and redirect it. Kind of like it's a, a wash or a glaze. But interesting. 
So as you can see, there are a bunch of different effects that you can create using washes and by using water first to guide those washes. So experiment, see what you can come up with.